Hola a todos y feliz Hi. sábado. Yes, happy Saturday. Bienvenidos a Latinx Now, donde miramos las noticias más grandes del entretenimiento a través del lente latino. Yo soy Cristian Acosta y hoy me acompaña Claudia Vergara. That's me. That's you? That's me. That's you. Bueno, hoy tenemos una edición muy especial porque tenemos una entrevista bien especial, así que mm. no perdamos más tiempo y entremos en detalles. Vamos a hacerlo. Si ustedes son fanáticos de la película de terror, están con suerte. Ya está en el cine la película Blumhouse's Fantasy Island y pudimos entrevistar al protagonista Michael Peña, I love him, quien interpreta al famoso Mr. Warwick. Bueno, Michael nos habló de su personaje, del secreto detrás de su biografía de Twitter y por qué él cree que no hay diferencia entre una producción latina y una americana. Bueno, vamos a ver la wow. entrevista. Wow. The plane. It's here. This weekend, you will be our guests. Here, anything and everything is possible. No service. It's not everything is possible. Good evening. I'm Mr. Rurik. Let me officially welcome you to Fantasy Island. Oh, I'll tell you about the movie. How's that? We'll start with that, which is Fantasy Island, when obviously if, if anybody's seen the trailer, it's a place where fantasies get re uh, realized. Mm -hmm. You know, you ask for a fantasy, and my character, Mr. Rourke, that was made famous by Ricardo Motalban, mm -hmm. uh, he, he's, the, he's the host, and he can make it happen yeah. uh, with the help of um, the, uh, you know, the island. And that's where this movie takes place. Some of it is... Revenge. Some of it is like a fun thing, and then there's like some of it that um, that is a bit more interesting to uh, uh, my character. The previous person who took this role was also from Mexican descent, and then you're from Mexican descent. Did you feel any kind of connection to that? Any kind of distance to that? Did it play a role at all? Ricardo Mon, what is it? Montalban. 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 Mm -hmm. That's where you go. Because <laughs> I, I say it so much in English that yeah, that you, and you they don't say the L. Track. They say Montalban. Yeah. Um, uh, but anyway, like he. I loved what he did, mm -hmm. but I, I said, what can I take from him? So instead I took from the actor, like he was born in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think, I think they call him Chilangos. Okay. And, uh, and, but he grew up doing theater and Shakespeare. And I was like, oh, that's where he was very debonair and stood like this a little bit. I wasn't gonna do it too much, but I was gonna do a little bit of it, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but it was basically the way that he spoke and then in some ways, you know, when he would stand up in a certain way, just a little bit of hint So, uh, yeah, so that I could to the original. so that he could be uh, a host, mm -hmm. you know, for this kind of thing, and you could believe it. Was that a big challenge for you to? It was. It was because it's one thing doing Shakespeare, you know, which is English, and then, but it's another doing uh, speaking um, English in a very proper way, and then doing it with a Spanish accent. Yeah. You know that 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 makes it even mm -hmm. even much tougher. Um, I, I, you know, normally if you have to speak, you know, like in a very proper, like old school way, um, it, it's your language, so it's okay. Yeah. But with a, with an accent, with accent. It, it made it ten times. Does the up. accent part normally, if you're having like regular English per se, come easy to you, or do you have to struggle to make that like Hispanic accent? The thing is, is that like you have to practice it so that like you can do it, mm -hmm. and then you have to practice it so much now that you can do it so that you don't mess it up. Yeah, it's natural. Know? So that it's, yeah, so it's like, it's like two. It's believable. It's like three levels. It's like the beginning, and then you're like, okay, I'm doing it right, and then like you do it so that you don't do it wrong. Yeah. But although there was times where when I did the, the accent, like for instance, like when Latinos or somebody with an accent says Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. they say Valentine's. You know, yeah, exactly, yeah. and and it doesn't it you, doesn't really come across all that mm -hmm. well. So there was particular words that we used so that I kind of Americanized it a little bit more so that other people can can uh, understand it. Yeah, cool. Okay, and you are one of the I want to say few actors of Hispanic descent that have landed like big big roles, obviously in big blockbuster movie. Do you still think that maybe 20, 30 years ago it was kind of an exception? I mean, 20 years ago it didn't happen. <laughs> to me, you know, like I couldn't even get an audition for mm -hmm. it. So uh, I would say that it, it, things have changed. But um, to me, what's cool about it is that like audiences changed, you know, mm -hmm. like they're willing to see a Latino and, and, you know, star in some movies. And, you know, there's people that liked those movies. And, you know, it's it, it's a great time, you know, like there, there needs to be more progress, obviously, so that it's not even an issue. Mm -hmm. It just is what it is. Right. Um, but. But the fact that it's changing in such a way, 
um, just really makes me happy. Yeah. And, uh, and I, hopefully there's more to come, you know, so that, like, if my son wants to be an actor, like, there's no problem. Does uh, he hint at it? No, I think, I, you know what, he draws and he reads a lot. So I think okay. he's going to probably be more of a director. Okay. Um, you know. Did you ever have aspirations of becoming a director or was it always? Maybe one day, you know, but I, 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 I get so detail oriented that I, that I, I, I put too much significance on it. Mm -hmm. And with directing, it's more about what's, what's important, what's yeah. the most important thing. And because, uh, you know, once you get, I totally understand like a director's point of view, because once you get into a camera, and you know this little this looks different than this. Of course. What's the best way to tell a story? And even if the camera's right there with some beautiful something beautiful behind you, you want to light it in such a way so that you look yeah, like a movie star. Yeah, all different elements. Yeah, you can make anybody look like a movie star. It's great, mm -hmm. just with the the right type of lighting, with the butterfly <laughs> shadow and stuff like that. So yeah, um, a lot of intricacies that go into yeah, it. Yeah, and you can get into this, you know. Oh, but that can be the detail oriented. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I know. I mean, maybe I would have to do some, some shorts and really um, experiment with Get cameras. There. Do you feel any difference when you walk into a predominantly Latin um, crew or Latin set versus one in like the middle of LA? I don't. I don't. Like, um, the only thing is, is the language. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I was working in Narcos, Mexico, um, there was a couple of cinematographers that were um, really good. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot this guy's name. He's amazing. I'm, I would hang out with him and his You're wife. You're watching this. Him and his wife, um, and they were so cool. They're both cinematographers, mm -hmm. and uh, his wife. I would actually go boxing with his wife because oh, he didn't box. <laughs> It, like, it was amazing, but they were both... And you're both, a big boxer yourself. Yeah, I yeah. love it, but they were both amazing people, and and they loved cinema so much, and, and the lighting and stuff. Um, it was really kind of inspiring. Mm -hmm. um, and they would just say, and they're like, they're, you know, they would do these little moments, and he's like, and little tweaks, and he was like, oh, no, 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 está bien bonito, oh, está bonito. <laughs> and, it would, and then you see the frame, and you're like, it's beautiful. Está bonito. <laughs> but she would actually be more of the badass in the cars, uh, riding, uh, you know what I mean? Riding around and stuff. So um, it was awesome. It, it was awesome. But like, I, passion is passion, mm -hmm. when, especially when you have it for your art. Like, yeah. uh, you know, in some of the Marvel movies and like the David Ayer movie um, uh, and The Watch, you know, there was, there was a lot of passion and, and uh, Roman, the cinematographer, definitely mm -hmm. liked it, you know. You could do a lot with a little tweak and, and the lighting to make, to change, to change the shape of the, of the scene. Do you use Twitter? Which is your preferred social media? Um, I don't use Twitter, I don't use Facebook. Okay. I do a little bit of Instagram. Okay, because are you aware what your Twitter bio is? No. It says, I used to work in a soap factory. I, I did. What is that about? Um, when I was a sophomore, no, when I was a, like a, a freshman in high school, mm -hmm. uh, I, I worked two jobs, two okay. full-time jobs, to try to make money to, to get into my next year. Okay. Um, Where were you going to school at this point? Um, I was going to school at Marist High School, which was okay. a prep school, okay. uh, and it was it, quite expensive for my family, so I was working a bunch. and. Um, I, I, one of my friends, his name is Joe, his dad owned a yeah. soap factory. Mm -hmm. So I, w I worked at a, at a soap factory. Quite a difference from working at the soap factory yeah, to yeah, exactly. <laughs> filming in Fiji. Exactly. <laughs> and then golfing with uh, Tiger Woods and A-Rod. Yeah. And all of that. A-Rod was awesome. You know what? And I'm, and it's so nice. Like A-Rod is such a smart dude. Like he was commenting on, on the World Series. And it's amazing to see that transformation. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah, he was a fantastic uh, baseball, baseball player. player. But, like, for him commenting, it's just, like, it's really doing great for the Latinos. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you just, el apoyo, no? You just want to support that kind of uh, person. Plus, he was super nice. Yeah, and him and Jada, they're, like, the part couple, she was at the Super Bowl. He's over here. And, like, they are both seem always, like, super nice. Yeah, how great is that? Like, like, crazy power couple. That was all. Well, thank you so okay, much. Thank you. Yo amo, amo a Michael Peña, yo soy muy fan de él porque, no, la, la verdad que sí, porque en realidad ha representado súper bien a la comunidad latina desde ya hace muchísimos años. Es más, o sea, yo me acuerdo como de su papel en Ant-Man, que, bueno, la verdad no fue como el protagonista, pero sus momentos, o sea, chistosos de, co de comedia en esas películas eran como que, wow, se robó el show. Pues yo no me he visto esa película, pero lo que sí me encanta a mí son las películas de terror. 
Yo no de sé. De miedo, de suspenso, todo. Me fascina. No, me enc... Pero ¿sabes no. por qué a ti no? Yo no soy tan fan Pero de ¿sabes por qué a ti no? Terror. Porque todo malo es cobarde. Y usted es malo. Entonces, por eso no da miedo. Pero... A mí no me da miedo porque yo soy buena. Todo malo es... Todo malo es cobarde. Uh, ajá. Es como... Sí, todo malo es cobarde. ¿Entonces soy malo? Sí, maléfico. Es... Bueno, amigos, ¿qué están esperando? <risa> ya en el cine están Lucy Hell, Maggie Q y Michael Peña esperándolos en Blumhouse Fantasy Island. Uh -huh. Bueno, eso es todo por hoy, pero recuerden suscribirse a nuestro canal en YouTube y seguirnos en nuestras redes sociales arroba Latinx Now. El lunes nos vemos de nuevo con más noticias del mundo del entretenimiento aquí en Latinx Now. Eso es todo por hoy. Chao for now. Bueno, entonces, ¿tú eres una santa? Pues sí, más que tú, sí. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo así? A ver, dame un ejemplo de algo más. Tú eres malo, maléfico, por favor. Pues ya que estamos en el mes del amor y la amistad. Una de las maneras que nos puedes demostrar amor es suscribiéndose. Así, así es. Gracias. I love you. I love you. We love you. Yes.